Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your own music tracks to Spotify. This wasn't something I'd actually thought of doing until recently when I had some CDs of music that I want to listen to a lot as I'm trying to learn to play the tracks on them and these are not on Spotify. Plus, I have quite a few music tuition books that have backing tracks I'd like to be able to access from my mobile device really easily. Again, not already available on Spotify, so I'd like to add them. I love Spotify because I can access all the music on there in a variety of ways, either on my computer desktop when I'm in my studio or via Bluetooth or Chromecast when I want to listen on my hi-fi, Bluetooth speaker, play tracks through my amp which has a Bluetooth playback option for backing tracks or even my Roland Go piano which also plays back files from my mobile device via Bluetooth to jam along with. So now I've discovered that you can upload your own music tracks to Spotify so you can have easy access to them wherever you are, I thought I'd share the process with you because there are a few steps you need to take to get there. Now before you get too excited you do need a premium Spotify account to do this. You can add your own tracks on your desktop with the free version but you won't be able to download them to your mobile device. You do need to start with your media files already on your desktop computer so I'm assuming you already have them available. I'm going to show you how to do this on a Mac. The process is the same on a PC. I'll just highlight the difference between the two and then I'll show you how to access the same tracks on your mobile device. It's almost identical on Android and iOS but I'll show you both. Finally to do this you do need to make sure your computer and mobile devices are on the same Wi-Fi network. So now you have all that in place let's do this. The first thing you need to do is open up Spotify on your desktop. So I'm in the Spotify app on my Mac and in the top right hand corner, I can go to settings like this. I need to go to where it says local files and I need to show local files. So that isn't a default setting that is turned on. So make sure you turn that on. And then what you can do is you can add sources so you can show songs from and choose various folders. So I've already added the folder, the Irish Fiddle Book, which has got all those files in and I want to be able to access on all my devices. So to do that, I went to add a source and I navigated to where the folder was and I simply opened it. But I have already done that. It's also possible to find the settings if you go to the Spotify menu here and go to preferences. So now if I go to my library, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a playlist. OK, and I guess I could choose a photo for it, so I think I will. Here we go. Now then, what I need to do is go back to my library, to my local files. And if when I click on this, I can see all the local files that I have got in my library. So what I'm going to do is narrow it down by putting in a bit of a search term that will hopefully just bring up the pieces that I want. So I think there's about 52 pieces in here. They all belong with this book. Right, OK. Now, I, want, I don't want to add anything I've got on other CDs. I just want these, all these files out of the fiddle book. So if I click on that, the bottom one, and then hold the shift key down to click on the top. And what I can do then once I've got all those files selected is right click and go add to playlist and add them. Okay. So now if I go back to my library and look in this, I should have all 52 files, 51 in fact, all the files ready and available. So what I could do is play one of the pieces. That part of it is now done. So if I go to my library, that playlist now exists on my computer. Here I am on my PC just to show you the difference. You can access your settings here as on the Mac, but drop down next to your name and then make sure you have allowed Spotify to read your local files. And then of course you can add a source just the same as on a Mac. If I go home, the other way to access them is to click these three dots here and go edit preferences and you end up on the same screen. Now, when you go home, you'll find your local files down here under your library on the left-hand side. 
So that's how you would navigate to your local files on your PC. All the other processes are exactly the same. Now we've created the playlist with the local files on the desktop computer, whether it's PC or Mac, you simply get your mobile device, in this case it's an Android phone, and open up the Spotify app. Then if you navigate to your library and scroll down through your playlists, you should find your playlist has appeared on your mobile phone. Sometimes you have to sign back out and sign back in again on your phone. Now you see that I've got the playlist showing here. All I need to do is flick the switch here to start downloading and the files start downloading onto my mobile phone. So from now on, I'll be able to access all these tracks on my mobile device. The process is very similar on your iPad. So if I open up the Spotify app, navigate to my library and look at my playlists as I'm showing here, then again, the playlist has appeared. And it's just a case again of making sure that you hit this button here to download the tracks. So iOS and Android, pretty identical. Now I'll just show you another playlist here that I created. Sometimes you'll see that none of the tracks appear to be there, but once you start downloading, then they do start to appear. I've noticed more so with iOS than with Android that you do need to close the Spotify app down and open it up again to see the tracks in the playlist you created on your desktop. Well, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please give the video a like. That really helps me out. I post regular content on home studio recording setup and loads of stuff on how to use your computer to help with your music making. So if you want to be the first to see my tutorials, how-to guides, tips and reviews, then do subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell so you'll get notified when there's new stuff to watch. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.